What's a celebrity that was once huge and now lives a completely normal life? Molly Ringwald seems to lead a pretty normal life. I live in Tacoma, Washington and she apparently has some friends or family out here because she will visit from time to time you will just go to a restaurant and see Molly Ringwald very casually grabbing a bite and you're just like, oh hey that's pretty cool and that's that. Rick Moranis. From Wikipedia. In 1997, Moranis took a hiatus from working in the film industry. He later explained, I'm a single parent and I just found that it was too difficult to manage to raise my kids and to do the traveling involved in making movies. So I took a little bit of a break. Reminds me of an article I read about tabloid reactions to past stars looks over time. If they undergo cosmetic procedures, they're unrecognizable. If they have not succumbed to vanity and have aged naturally, they're unrecognizable. There's no winning at this game. David Peruzzo CSI Miami and NYPD Blue spotted filling up his old Ford Flex wagon at a UNOCAL 76 station in Encino two weeks ago. If it weren't for his face, he'd look like any homeless guy living along Ventura Boulevard. Julia Stiles. I feel like she was huge then sorta of went away. I just looked her up and it seems like done some stuff here and there but nothing huge or notable unfortunately. I don't know why. I thought she was pretty good. Almost everyone named is really recognizable to this day. My choice would be Shelley Duvall. She was once one of the most successful actors and now you wouldn't recognize her if she came up to you and asked for directions. Stuart Wood, Eric Faulkner and Derek Longmuir who are the remaining members of the classic lineup of the Bay City Rollers. Les McHugh and Alan Longmuir having passed in 2021 and 2018 respectively bona fide legends. R.I.P. Alicia Morton starred in the 1999 film Annie and Peter Rostrum played Charlie Bucket in the 1971 Willy Wonka The Chocolate Factory movie are both former child actors who work as veterinarians now. Stacey Keenan was on two big sitcoms in the 80s and 90s, charming, beautiful, had amazing prospects. Then she dropped out of the business, went to law school, now she's a district attorney. Cameron Diaz raising her kid with one of the good Charlotte dudes and enjoying life. She made some awesome movies and great friendships. Content to live her life pretty quietly now. Jeff Cohen. Played Chunk in Goonies. Now an entertainment lawyer most recently responsible for helping Goonies co-star K. Huey Kwan with his role in Everything Everywhere All at Once. He wasn't huge since the movie was a flop. But the kid who played Charlie in the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory left Hollywood to become a veterinarian. Hayden Christensen did all the Star Wars stuff and then bought a farm outside Toronto. He's now all about farming. Bridget Fonda, loved her then she disappeared. Last year Paps found her living a normal life not looking she used to. They were brutal. Fuck the Paps. Most of the big 80s wrestlers. Hulk Hogan comes to mind. Also. The host of HQ Trivia who was for a short time everywhere, but now sells vintage clothing. Eric Estrada, who played Officer Francis Lowell in Ponch Poncherello on GPS became a real-life police officer in St. Anthony, Idaho. Thanks to all of you, I'm gonna start seeing everyone mentioned here in those news ads you never believe what happened this star. Smiley face. The kid whom played Jack and Hook is a law professor. He was an adjunct at my schools while I was there but I did not attend his class. That guy who sang How Do I Talk to an Angel. I think he was on 90,210 and then was on a spinoff. I believe he's a firefighter now. John Deacon Queen. Richard Simmons 80s TV fitness guru. Bill Cosby not his decision though. Most of the Wonder Years cast. Queen's John Deacon. Lives quietly wherever. Has minimal contact with Queen. Though they do run ideas by him as a courtesy. Bill Withers passed away in 2020, but he's the ultimate example of being on top and just dropping out and living his life. That Anakin Skywalker dude. But now I heard he's considering going back into acting after his appearance in that SW show. Maybe Liv Tyler? You never hear about her anymore. She lives in London, just being a regular mom and raising her kids. Review G55197 D269914 Reviews Full Gospel Tabernacle Memphis Melissa Joan Hart She was Clarissa and Sabrina the teenage witch in the mid-90s, and has been pretty quiet since. I would say Jonathan Taylor Thomas. He was so big in the 90s. Now he's mostly if not entirely behind the scenes. Cisco from the Thong Song lives in suburban Minnesota and goes about his business just like anyone else. It was Rick Astley until we relentless rolled our teachers and friends with the Rick Roll circa 2006-ish. Rebecca Jordan. Who is she? 
Well now she is a teacher but when she was younger she played Newt and Aliens. Sean Mary Young though she'd probably give anything to be working. Deborah Winger and Darlis Howard. You all remember Rake Young from Jackass TV? He's a chemist. He actually had his degree before the show. Up until recently I would have said Kehui Kron. Happy for the guy as he always wanted to come back. The Hanson Brothers. And like 1997, 1998 they were huge. After 2000 I heard nothing about them. Woman shrugging. Whatever happened to Emilio Estevez? He used to be in movies, and now he's not in movies anymore. Not hugely huge. But Bridget Fonda. Jacked up Danny Elfman's wife. She don't give a shit no more. Bobby Sherman, a huge heartthrob back in the day I think he was a sheriff for quite a while. Nikki Blonsky from Hairspray. She was selling shoes and working as a hairstylist last I read. Isn't Charlie Sheen just hanging out in Malibu and getting beat up by female home invaders? Tanya Harding. She now owns a landscaping business and has said she's really happy with it. The kid who played Charlie in the original Willy Wonka. He went on to be a veterinarian. The actor who played heartthrob Jake Ryan in Pretty in Pink. He makes furniture now. Henry Winkler, maybe? He's such a decent person. I love how he lives his life now. Katherine Heigl lives near Park City, Utah and is quietly raising her family there. The girl that played Catwoman in Gotham. She has a smoothie business now I think. Mike Vitar. He played Benny in the Sand Lot. He became a firefighter with LAFD. Amitolins from She's Out of Control in Miracle Beach. My first girl crush. Recently I heard that Jack Nicholson lives somewhere in British Columbia. Chad Muska is now a vegetable farmer a few hours outside of Cleveland. Eddie Haskell from Leave it to Beaver became a California Highway Patrolman. Army Hammer. He was selling timeshares in the Caymans last I heard. The girl who played Harper on Wizards of Waverly Place is R.R. now. Remember what happened to Janet Jackson after the 2004 Super Bowl? Any of the Brady kids? I think one of them works construction. Isn't Maura Wilson from Matilda just a regular person now? 